Hello, good afternoon. It's been a few days since I streamed. I have been um, a bit busy. But um, I have a couple of hours today, so I'm gonna stream. Try to uh, finish the World Conquest as Portugal. Let's see if I can if I can do this. Without being hugely frustrated with um, this game because of the AI. Okay, that should do it. Well, for the most part. Good. So, what else is going on? Didn't touch this game for, I don't know, three days, four days, I don't recall exactly. Like, we're done in Africa. We have enough troops here to declare on Liberia, let's do so. I was trying to figure out what exactly makes us lose political power. I know that's it, the occupation, but <coughs> I'm trying to figure out if it's only due to the VPs or other territories also count towards these. Hello Viper and Shasino. hello, welcome. Nice to see you guys here. Do we have a CP against these guys? Nope, not yet. So the Middle East, we have these dudes. They're actually in India now. And Middle East. Maybe let's split him in half, create another headquarter. Stop what you're doing. I don't care, let's tell them to do their stuff. Without any preparation bonus. Yeah, go, go there, whatever. Okay, we need to invade the US, not sure exactly when I'm delaying it because of this test over here. I still need to figure out if I can protect the, the convoys from subs since it's very hard to sink them in this game. We have 1.77 million men. We're building a shit ton more of infantry. Oh, by the way, I'm using a mod, the more NATO counters mod. 
So this gives me some very nice... Uh, some more uh, very nice counters to customize my divisions and at a glance realize what they're for. Like for example, for we don't have garrisons in this game, but uh, I use cavalry for garrison duty, so at a glance I can instantly see the purpose of each one of these divisions. Heavier divisions, heavier infantry divisions, light, much lighter infantry divisions, and so on. Which is great. Okay, what are these dudes doing? They are gonna invade that. Still invading Borneo. Very slow start as usual, but I don't play this for several days. So bear with me. Could also go after Australia. Maybe. Where are these dudes? Again, fighting some subs. These guys are... in the Iberian Peninsula. Looks like I have an issue with production. Right here. Okay, that will do. This is so disgusting. Okay, you guys... Hold. Night Vision 2, we're, all, we're done with the infantry decks. We're done with the tanks. We're done with the artillery. Same thing over there. I'm still a noob with the, these doctrines. I seldom have the ability to research this stuff. It's secondary. There's nothing here that I want. Let's go with rockets, whatever. Here we go, again, we cannot spot the subs. Stop, go repair. So let's split them in half. Or instead of splitting them in half, let's create another fleet. I said, wait.
I'm gonna create a smaller fleet of destroyers to try to intercept those subs and destroy them. It seems to work. Okay, 15. 15 dudes. Let's give them our best leader. You guys go repair. Hello DDR Jake. Yes, I agree with you. And Agazui. Hello. Yes, um, I agree with you. The DR Jake, the DR Jake is saying the splitting interface is pretty cumbersome. Yeah, indeed, I agree. The world conquest is going well. It's basically I've conquered everything with the exception of the Americas. I'm working on it, but it's not a huge priority for me. I'm still trying to make a few tests to understand how the game works at 100%. Hello, Agus, again. Nice to see you guys here. I'm trying, for example, I've, I've noticed that smaller fleets of destroyers can sink the subs. Big fleets can't. So I'm gonna try to see if that's right. What mysteries remain for you in the game? Well, for example, I'm trying to determine if... Um, for example, I've, I've seen that we lose political power with occupation. And this goes up as time goes by, from what I've seen. I'm trying to determine if it's only the VPs that are... Um, meaningful for this mechanic or if any other provinces trigger this i'm not sure i don't know i have that's why i'm trying to determine right now um, basically that's it i think trying to also be 100 percent sure if smaller fleets can sink the destroyers the, the subs I think they can. I've seen it before, so so I'm putting these guys on to repair. Send the destroyers to version destroy. Another thing that I still haven't tried is to see if I can escort the. I also had this problem with Stellaris, very annoying for me because I, I never lose, never lost troops basically in all my other games. But in Stellaris, I found myself always losing my army, losing my armies pretty easily until I I found a way to avoid losing them. So over here in Hearts of Iron 4, I think it's similar. So I'm having trouble protecting my dudes whenever they're, they're doing um, a Phoebus invasion, especially because we have no pop-ups that, that say that they're being attacked or they're going, the mission is going, stuff like that. So I want to determine if I can protect the convoys. I can protect the trade convoys, I've seen it, but I'm not sure if I can protect the the amphibious ones, the ones that are trying to do amphibious invasions. These guys just stopped. Okay, military police. We pretty much don't have anything else to research. So I guess I'm gonna work on this stuff.
20 days for that invasion. You have much better port over here so we can launch the invasion of the US uh, soon, I hope. Yes, that's what I do, Jake. <laughs> Jake is saying, are you using military police? I just make one cav divisions for resistance suppression. Uh, he's saying, it's far easier to organize and cheaper on the manpower. Yes, good, good decision. That's exactly what I'm doing. So, I use single battalions to save manpower. But of course, some some ports, the ports require some stronger divisions to to be able to make sure they can handle the invasion. So I have a stronger division for the ports. And another thing that compels me to do that is because not all states have the same amounts of requirements, the same requirement with regard with regard to suppression. Sorry, this is um, supply map mode. Resistance. There's no resistance. Anyway, like I was saying, some places require less suppression than others. So we could also, for example, I found it, but it's too much micro for me. But for small countries, if you want to maximize these, for small countries, if one wants to maximize this, we could, for example, have a shit ton of templates. So what I'm trying to say is, instead of sending, for example, five regiments or six to a VP, we can send a dude over there, then upgrade it to the exact Templates But that's too much micro for me So for example to cav And so on 5 cav, 6 cav, 7 cav Because Since each Each battalion Reduces the unrest by 0.2 then with this method we can take advantage of military police and save a shit ton of manpower and equipment especially later in the game anyway that's a good call that's what i do that's also what i do Not sure what I should research, to be honest with you. Let's... Play strike. I'm a noob at uh, doctrines, at naval doctrines. They're so secondary. For me, that I never actually bothered with them. Whatever, doesn't. I'm, I'm sure I will strategize better with that for now. Let's just pick one. Hello, Santer2, welcome. And Blazing999, welcome. <laughs> Blazing999 is saying Forza Portugal. Thank you. Portugal is doing well in the European. Euro 2016, they, ne they still haven't managed to win a game, but 
they're doing well. Okay, let's go kick kick this dude's butt. Hey Jake, uh, if you're still watching, um, this this was great. This this addition was great, but if at all possible, I don't know. Maybe you you guys could make great yet another one. I don't know, and make it even more aggressive because the AI still, although the AI clears lots of pockets without need for player intervention. This aggressiveness is still not enough, in my opinion. So, if you guys could actually create a, a only you only leave one setting for the AI, that would be amazing. And um, basically, all the frustrations that I have with this game are related with the battle plan. Okay, let's watch. 17 days. Is this done? Yeah. So that's good. Okay, but... Um, I wish you guys a, a pleasant vacation. But if you guys add it, that would be amazing. It would really be amazing. I don't know, let's send these guys, we don't have much. These guys don't have much stuff to do. Okay, Liberia capitulated. Uh, this is an overkill, let's send them to the US. So, let's move these to the... Greece at quarter. Let's rename these with, as US with half of these dudes added to the US. Thanks, Jake. <laughs> you know, it's 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 an honor for me uh, coming from you to hear you say that. But at the same time, I'm I'm not used to this level of attention. You know, so. I don't know. It's it's weird for me. But at the same time it makes me very happy. Okay. Marines in Asia, these guys are no longer needed here. I'm thinking I'm sending these dudes back to Europe. But at the same time, I'm thinking if I should leave some of them in Asia, over here, just to garrison the ports. Okay, thanks Jake.
Yeah, pretty much don't have anything else to research. But no, let's go with this one. Okay, I must not forget when these guys are going to the uh, source ten, 10 days from now. Because I want to check it if I can garrison these convoys or not. This invasion has to succeed. Let's give them some leader. Well, I guess the rest of the game can wait. Let's wait 8 days here. Nothing too serious going on, I think. These guys are just finishing. Just finishing these. These are more marines, so... So... For now, let's, let's create a fallback line over here. Same thing with these dudes. I want them to cross without being sunk, if at all possible. Then I'll figure out what to do with them. Okay, we are not trading, I mean, the, the Peru is not delivering everything, so let's scrap it, doesn't matter at this point. So, six days for us to see how this goes, how this works. Santerto is asking if I have been streaming for four days. No, no, Santerto, I took a break. I took a break. I've been looking for a job, fortunately. Fortunately, I think I have a good opportunity. I have an interview for the 7th of July. I think um, that's my break. We'll see. I'm not sure. But. Uh, that's the best opportunity that I had in a very long time, so hopefully it is, it's going to go well. So uh, I've been trying to find job and also some freelancer stuff. Tomorrow I'm going to continue with that. Yeah, indeed, Jake. Thanks, Center too. Okay, this guy should be going now. One. Okay, let's see if we can protect. This.